Let's go. Okay, looks like the coast is clear for Marchants. Surprised to see no one else is here. Other than that body, it's been pretty empty. Princess. It'll be okay, Otsu. We found each other, didn't we? We'll find Little Mermaid, too. You're right. I almost gave up hope. Sorry. What's the matter, Jack? I thought I heard someone's voice. You're right. That sounds like... Come on, Otsu. Is anybody out there? Michiro! The Marchants are going to find us if you keep being noisy. No. I think we'll be okay. I don't sense anyone around us. But I do sense something else. What do you mean? Uh, that is what I mean. Princess! Otsu! Jack! 
mermaid, Michiru. We finally found you. <laughs> Hello. Oh, my princess. Princess. My heart can rest now that we found you. Kutsu. Ouch. Not so tight. It hurts. I was oh so worried about you. Nearly went mad thinking about your safety. If you were to die again on my watch, I... Oh! Right. I bet this isn't the first or only time I've sent you into panic. In this world and in the last world. I've made many mistakes on my path. I was too late. Failed too many times. But now I'm taking fate by my own hands, and I will never let you go. Okay. I'll never leave you either. Okay. Please. Don't cry, Otsu. They're there. Princess. I'm happy we found each other, too. Thanks for never giving up, Otsu. Otsu's been worried sick about you, Little Mermaid. No matter how far or how long we searched, she kept going. Oh, really? I'm so relieved you two could reunite. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Hey, Jack. Hmm? What's up, Michiru? Doesn't Little Mermaid seem strangely calm? Hey, Michiru, wait! When I first ran into her, she was freaking out. She kept calling out for Otsu and everyone. Is that true, princess? I... I wasn't freaking out. Hey, it's rude to stare, Otsu. You two are perfect for each other. Jack, not you too. Sorry, I wasn't mocking you. My princess, I for one consider our similarities to be a blessing. I mean, sure, so do I, but... Anyway, let's change the subject. Uh, right. Uh, Little Mermaid? When exactly did you and Michiru meet up? Say, I think I warped right by you, didn't I? Oh boy, don't believe her. Despite the circumstances, Michiru seemed totally calm. I couldn't believe it. What you see is what you get. Can't be helped. Michiru seemed to think the area was safe, so we stayed there. Michiru's presence helped my stress a bit, but still, I wanted to find the others. Then I felt a presence, so I called out to you guys. Right! I only freaked out because you started screaming out of nowhere. But thankfully, it was for a good reason. Right. That's what led us to you. Let's all head back now. We set up a little camp as a base. Indeed. I bet the others will be happy to see you.
This is our campground. Well, a makeshift one if that. Sukui found a secluded area and set up a simple camp. 
Yes, it's vital to our survival. I see. Makeshift indeed. But not terrible. Hey, if you don't like it, you can sleep outside. Hey, watch your tone! You watch yours. And be thankful. Anyway, afterwards, we begin searching if anyone else came down this way. Ah, oh, I see. Did you find anyone? Nope. Not apart from you guys. Honestly, with just the two of us, we can't cover much ground. I guess Hamlin will have to do for now. Excuse me? What do you mean, have to do? You should be so grateful! <laughs> just kidding. It's nice to see you, Hamlin. Me. Enough bickering, you two. It's good that we were able to find each other. That's right. Plus, you guys secured a safe hideaway. I'm grateful. Well, I called it safe, but that's only relative to where we are. I doubt anywhere in this place is truly safe. That frightens me. I'm simply happy I'm with Kaede. She's so reliable. Must be the divine protection of the sun. Anyway, let's compare notes on what happened after we split. Yes, let's. Allow me to begin. Ah, so the reason we escaped was because of Hikari. Yes, that's right. Her teleportation powers are amazing. Seriously, we barely made it out. Without her, we wouldn't be here. I owe my life to Hikari. She used the last of her power to send me here before falling asleep. Well, it's nice to know where Gretel is. But I didn't expect her to go full blood skelter. Gretel suffered a serious injury against Massacre Pink. That explains her current condition. Oh, really? That totally explains how she went blood skelter. You know, Massacre Pink and that enormous jail armada thing are mysteries to us. I wonder what the deal is with the big chail. All those corpses make me sick. Otsu mentioned something back then, like it was an offering to the jail tower. I'm inclined to agree. But simply talking about it here won't bring us any closer to the answers. To start, we should find our remaining friends. True, we can't just leave Gretel in that state. If something were to happen to her, I'd feel terrible. Likewise. I want to help Gretel as soon as we can. Hmm, come to think of it, didn't you mention that you can purify now? Hmm, I've never done it myself, so I can't say for certain. But now that I've equipped the Mary Gun, maybe we can give it a shot? Oh, looks like it. Try to see if you can purify my corruption with your blood. Okay, let's do it. Gave it a good go. So how do you feel? Oh? This is... I feel positively fantastic! Really? Thank goodness. Hikari was right. <laughs> How incredible! With this power, we no longer have to fear corruption! <laughs> Tremble before our might! That's what I like to hear. We'll use this to purify Gretel. <laughs> Look at you, Hamlin. Back to your normal self. Aye, looks like luck's on our side with these two.
guess what I'm here. Use. Time to put it to use.